Hey everyone, this is Rachel. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to do something fun. I just watched my girl S underscore Hutchison do a, ta a tag called the Confessions Tag. Now this is a tag that she made up herself and the questions are so much fun. I don't normally do these. Um, I think some of them are not that much fun as a YouTuber to do, but this one, the questions were funny to me. So again, it's called the Confessions Tag and I'm just gonna get started. There are 12 questions and the first question is, Confess something you did a long time ago that you're still ashamed of. Um, so when I was about 19, 20, I was dating this guy. Um, he was a church boy. And um, this was um, during my fast years, y'all, when I was out there being a little fast girl. And I used to keep him on all kinds, all times of night and, you know, have him drinking and all this kind of stuff. Well, I met his grandmother. And his grandmother called me a little hussy that I was corrupting her grandchild. And um, I told her something like this. I said, well, I don't call it say that I was corrupting him because actually he was on top. Now, at the time, y'all, I was a virgin. So there was no sexual activity between us. But I just wanted to be mean to her and and just, you know, be a bitch, so I had said that to her, and also I, when it got me a six-pack and was drinking beer in front of her, and um, years later, I got a chance to apologize to her because I was not raised like that, I felt so bad after I did it, but she was slinging arrows at me, so I figured I'd sling some back at her, and damn near make her have a heart attack uh, thinking about her grandson having relations with me. But that was question number one. So question number two is confess at least one bad habit that you have. So y'all, I don't know if y'all know this. I know it's a bad habit, but I am a smoker. I've smoked for many years. I know it's bad. I'm trying. I will stop. I'm trying. But that is my bad habit. And then question number three is confess your guilty pleasure. Well, one of my guilty pleasures is watching these ratchet ass uh, reality shows and, you know, I don't, you know, do uh, blogs on them because I don't think I'm a good blogger or reviewer, but I do watch them. And after watching each one or as I'm watching each one, I'm cursing and asking myself, why am I watching this bullshit when half these people ain't rap type? But that's one of my guilty pleasures. A full guilty pleasure is I love chocolate ice cream. Love it, love it, love it. Even though I know it's not good for me, I am diabetic. I should not be eating it. And I have not eaten any in quite a long time. And just sitting here thinking about it is making me want some. So let me get off the subject. So fourth question is, if your friend had a hygiene problem, would you tell them? I don't know. I had an experience where this girl that babysat for my daughter, child, y'all, her arms smelled like funions, onions, and everything else, but she was a damn good babysitter. She was a little slow, but she was the best babysitter that I ever had. At the time, my daughter was about eight years old, and this little girl ba babysat for me during the summer. My ex um, also thought the little girl's arms were cutting up. So I didn't want to hurt her feelings because she was about 15, 16 years old. So what I did is I um, went out and I bought her some Bath and Body Works pop, uh, products. Uh, you know, that little gift set that comes in the basket. And what I did is I stuck other stuff in it. And one of the things that I stuck in it was a container of deodorant. And basically... I told her something like, you should use all these shower with the shower gel. It smells good. And when you when you get out, put on some of that deodorant that, you know. And basically, that kind of cured her. You know, I gave her a little gift certificate, told her, you know, she could get other products. Um, and after that, her must bags were cleared up. She wasn't stinky anymore. Um, so 
I don't think I could actually come out and tell a person. I think I would skirt around the issues and do something like I did with that little babysitter. And the next question is, confess something you're really bad at. Um, Let me see. I am really bad at keeping up with friends. I have a bunch of friends all over the country. They contact me and I don't always contact them back. I'm not good with answering phone calls. You know, I will see someone call me and I'm the type of person, if I feel like talking to you, I'll pick up. And if I don't, I just let the call go and I may not even call you back to let you know that I saw your call. So I, I'll say that um, the thing that I'm really bad at is keeping up with my friends, even though they keep up with me. And question number six is confess something that you always preach about, but never do. Now, for me, that would be standing up for myself. I have always been a go alone to get along type of person, but I teach my kids to not let anyone run over them, to speak up when they feel like something is being done wrong to them and just done wrong um, in general. And I need to practice what I preach. Instead of letting stuff stay bottled up inside me until I explode, when someone crosses me or does something that I don't like, I need to call them on the carpet um, at that point. Because once it, you know, boils up inside of you, you will pop off for something really small and people are wondering where did this level of anger come from and it might just be that you let everything um get to a boiling point and then you just exploded on them so that's one thing that i really need to do and i'm gonna start question seven is confess something mischievous uh oh confess some mischievous thing you did in your childhood well y'all and y'all probably don't think this is crazy but i don't know if y'all remember years ago x lax and i did say x lax the laxative used to come in bars like a candy bar they kind of looked like a hershey's candy bar so my little brother who was three years younger than me was really greedy and he was the type that you would be eating something, and if he wanted it, he would run by and snatch it out your hand and eat it. So this one particular time, me and my other brother decided that we were going to pull a trick on him. We were going to make him think that we were eating a candy bar and allow him to snatch it out of our hands. But this bar that he snatched out of our hands was actually a bar of x lax Now, if anyone is old enough to remember... When they had those bars of x lax you would only eat like two of the little pieces, like two of the little squares. And that was enough to keep you going for like four or five days. So just imagine what happened when my little brother ate the whole bar. Child, he was walking and poop was running down his leg. He could not control it. And y'all, for that, me and my other brother got the shit beat out of us because my little brother was so sick that my mother had to take him to the hospital. So that is something bad that I did when I was younger. Now, me and my crew, my little cousins and my um, aunts that are close to my age, we were really bad kids. We weren't bad. We were mischievous. So we were always getting into stuff like that. We even gave my little sister... We took the bottle off of uh, the top off of a bottle of Tabasco and we told her to drink it. And she did. At the time, she probably was four years old. Again, we got our asses beat and my mother had to take my little sister to the hospital. You would think that we would learn our lesson, but we did not. So that was my mischievous thing. Question number eight is confess one act of revenge you have done. So, I remember I had this boyfriend, and he was, we were breaking up, and it's because he cheated on me with another girl, and um, we were moving out from each other. Now, during this time, he was um, behind in a bunch of bills, and he had some creditors and stuff, 
And even though he moved out, some of his mail was still coming to my house. So what I did is I got all the mail from all the creditors that he had, and I wrote each of them a letter. And in that letter, I told them where he worked, his social security number, which they already had all that, his job hours, told them, now I'm writing the letter as though I am him. And I told them, please call me. I want to make good on all these um, debts that I hope um, um, I I owe. I welcome you to garnish my wages if I can't meet, you know, financially. So that was something, um, one act of revenge that I did. I guess I was a woman scorned. And um, if he was going to be with another woman, he wasn't going to have no money because his paycheck and everything was going to be garnish fuck it with me so that was my act of revenge and number nine if you were going out with your friends and one was dressed inappropriately for the occasion would you tell them um actually no i would not if she looked in the mirror and she thought what she had on was banging then you know Beauty is in the eye of the, of the beholder. I would just make sure my shit was popped. So, you know, all the guys who were turned off from what she had on would surely look at me and say, well, she is dressed appropriately, so let me go talk to her. So, no, I, I wouldn't do that because I, I don't know if it would hurt their feelings or something. And I don't like to hurt folks' feelings. So, I don't know if I would tell the person. I think I wouldn't. But I don't know. It depends. And um, number 10, if you had proof that your friend or an associate partner, associate's partner was cheating on them, would you tell? The answer to that is no. And the reason why is because I've learned my lesson on doing things like that. Normally, the person doesn't believe you and they end up mad at you. Now, what I might do is I might lead them into a conversation that would make them question, you know, whether their mate was being faithful to them. You know, I wouldn't come out and say it, but I would make them question the situation themselves. And other than that, I don't think it's a good idea to tell. Question number 11. If you are in the store and you saw someone shoplifting, would you tell? Now, y'all might think my answer is funny, but I'm keeping it real, y'all. If they were black, no. But if they were white, hell yes. I would run up to the register and be like, that bitch got all kind of shit in her purse. She got shit in her pants. She went in the bathroom, uh, the, the, the changing room, and she got on this under her clothes. I would sing like a bird if they were white. If they were black, not so much. And, you know, I'm, I'm honest, y'all. I would not tell on a black person. Now, maybe I would walk by them and be like, girl, you know, raise my eyebrows and be like, you know, you better be careful. And get away from them so they wouldn't think I was stealing. Black person, no. White person, hell to the yes. And I mean that too, y'all. And the last question on it is, if your partner's friend tried to hit on you, would you tell your partner or keep it on the down low, on the hush hush? My answer to that is, it depends on the boyfriend that I had. My longest relationship, the one that, you know, I always talk about the 17-year relationship, him held to the no because he would have gotten up and turned the place out. It would have been a fight, um, you know, because he, he was not that type that you could say, honey, you know such and such, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, he wasn't type. Now, I did have this other boyfriend that I was um, renting commercial space i had me and my brother had a little grocery store years ago when we were younger and there was a white the, the person that owned the property that we had our little grocery store in was a white guy italian guy and um he used to always hit on me he would say stuff like if i went out with him 
um, I wouldn't have to pay rent and that he liked black girls and all of this stuff. And I remember I had told the guy that I was dating at the time and he was like, girl, shit, how is this rent in? You don't think you can go out with him a couple times? And y'all, I was outraged. If I had pearls, I'd have been clutching my goddamn pearls. I was like, wait a minute. You trying to pay me out? Now, he was like, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But, but you could tell he was like, well, you ain't thought about it a little bit, girl. We can come down on this rent. Maybe you can knock a few hundred off. But I was like, no, no, this um, guy didn't. So it depends on the man. You know your man. If you have one of those men that, you know, will go off and tear shit up and it'd be a fight and it'd be police and he going to jail for trying to kill somebody from talking to you, then no, you don't tell him. If you got a sweet guy that will say, you know what, um, you know, some guys will be like, well, hey, he see what I see, you know, now I, I'm going to step to him and let him know that I don't appreciate him saying nothing. And it could be left at that, you know, then maybe you can tell him. But I don't think it's always a good idea because even a nice guy can surprise you and you can wind up getting him hurt by trying to make him jealous or telling him some other guy is trying to hit on you. So I don't know, y'all. I don't think it's a good idea. So with that, y'all, that is the end of the tag. See, it was fun. I'm glad she did this one. See, this is one of those ones that make me laugh. So I actually enjoyed doing it. So um, I think it means you're supposed to tag someone. So I'm going to tag two people. And I hope I get this person's name right. I'm going to tag Jamika Nicole. It's your turn, girl. You're going to be in that car driving. Don't drive when you're doing these, child, because you be having me a nervous wreck when you're driving and, and um, vlogging. And then the other person that I want to tag, she knew I was going to tag her, Miss Kimberly Frazier. You are next. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. I told you we need more videos from you, videos from you, so you... You are tagged next. So it's Jamika Nicole driving in her car, looking like my aunt. I forgot to tell you, Jamika, you look like one of my aunts. And then my other girl that I'm tagging is Miss Kimberly Frazier. Kimberly, get to it. Get on that mic and give us these answers to these questions. And with that, y'all, thank you for listening to my video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.